Hey, in this video, I want to continue a conversation about Sentinel. I want to kick off a conversation on how to get hands-on experience with the product for free, right? So with this, I kick off the Sentinel lab guide, following the free lab guide that anyone can follow along if you have access to it. So I'm going to be sharing some of these resources as well in the description for you to follow along as you, as you want to gain experience with the solution. Let's dive in. Awesome. So now that we have a very fundamental and high level understanding of the components of Sentinel, we can start thinking about deploying it. Start thinking about deploying it. There's much more to understand naturally, uh, and I don't intend to cover everything in this series or these uh, sessions, but I do intend to go over a setup of a training lab, uh, which will cover most of these components. And this is exactly what you're seeing on screen here. Uh, this training lab is provided uh, to everyone publicly on GitHub, uh, and you can follow these steps along yourself. You can create yourself a Microsoft Azure account and create a Sentinel tenant to follow along. That is what I recommend you doing. Now, let me jump into my Azure tenant and go through some of these steps and show you, walk you through how to create your instance, how to start ingesting some data and so on and so forth. Okay, so from the very beginning, what you're looking on screen here is uh, Azure Portal. If you don't have access to Azure Portal, I recommend you just head to portal.azure.com. Just create a free account. You're going to have uh, some uh, access to some services for free and Sentinel and Log Analytics components that were that are otherwise chargeable do have a 30 day trial period that we can leverage to just get started with this training lab. This is what I recommend you do. Now, once you've done all that, which I'm not covering here, let's head over to Azure, uh, look for that service called Sentinel. When you find Sentinel, you're not gonna have any instances here in this list. So what you're gonna have to do is to create a new instance. That's what I clicked on. So right here, you see that there is a message that Microsoft offers a 31 day trial and you can learn more about the pricing uh, through this link. I'm not going to cover pricing today or here. But the first thing we need to do when creating a Sentinel is finding that Log Analytics workspace. So we're given the option to create a new workspace. Let's then go ahead and do that. Create a new workspace. I then have to go through the basics of creating this new workspace. So the first thing to create resources in Azure is to list out a um, subscri or a resource group. So resource group is in Azure are essentially ways for you to manage your life cycle, your resource life cycle. So when you have many resources that follow a similar life cycle, so they should be created uh, at the same time and they, they should all be deleted at the same time. That's, that's the definition of a resource group essentially, right? So let's list out the name for this instance. In the region, I'm going to leave the default. I'm not going to create any tags, but good practices will ensure that you uh, you utilize tags if necessary. Go ahead. It's going to go through the validation process. Once you pass, you can just click on create at the bottom and the deployment is going to get started. You can see there at the top. After a few seconds, you're going to see these workspace listed out in this page. And then you can naturally just choose that one instance and click on add. Then you're going to add Sentinel to that workspace. That's it. So with that, you have created your Sentinel instance and you can start ingesting logs, essentially. Uh, that's how you can get started with Sentinel. Uh, at, the, at the top there, you can see a message. So we have the Sentinel free trial activated and that is valid for uh, 31 days. Uh, it tells me up up until when this is valid for, which is great. I can learn more about what's involved and you should, if you're not familiar, I'm not going to cover this here today, but then the next step for us is to onboard what we call the training guide for Sentinel. So we can go ahead and look for an Azure marketplace solution called um, Sentinel training. This is the marketplace solution that I'm referring to, Microsoft Sentinel Training Lab solution. 
So this is a free marketplace solution that upon deployment will allow us to ingest uh, essentially pre-recorded data into your tenant in this Microsoft workspace or Sentinel workspace and enable several artifacts to simulate scenarios that showcase various Sentinel features. So it's a great way to get started and just get started, familiarize yourself with some of these incident management capabilities, some of the querying capabilities in Sentinel as well. Just, it's awesome, right? And what does it do, right? So the size of the ingested data is around 20 megs. So we will see no cost related to ingestion. Pre-recorded data will land in the following custom log tables. So I haven't talked about tables yet, but uh, whenever you onboard log sources, they all go into different tables within Log Analytics. Depending on the log source type, in a different table is fed that data. So this pre-recorded data will land in these custom log tables, security event, sign-in sign logs, office activity, so on and so forth. So even Cisco Umbrella DNS logs are onboarded. So then this is a great way for us to uh, onboard some of these capabilities in Sentinel. And something very positive that also does is it onboards a number of Sentinel capabilities and features such as workbooks for these particular capabilities. It also onboards analytics rules for the sources that are being ingested. It also onboards hunting queries and playbooks. So when you onboard data connectors and solution components from Sentinel, I'm going to touch on that later on, but you're essentially uh, installing and increasing the capabilities of your Sentinel instance by increasing the number of workbooks, the number of analytics rules available for you to enable and customize, and even enable the usage of specific hunting queries and automation with playbooks as well. So this training lab solution is going to do some of that for us. Let's go ahead and create that. And upon creation, we have to list out everything again. Let me choose the data that I've created just now. And you can see I clicked on create. So the validation was straight up to the end of the, the process. But if I wanted to double check and review what sort of workbooks are being created. I can click on workbooks and then I can see that it's going to add the investigation insights workbook. This is going to create analytics. What kind of analytics rules are going to be loaded into my platform? Uh, Solarigate network beacon, for example, or and the sign in from IPs that attempt sign ins to disable the accounts, for example, even malicious inbox rules as well. So these three analytics are going to be added to my list of analytics rules and also the playbook name uh, get geolocation from IP and tag incident playbook. So let's go ahead and click on create to get all of these done. This deployment is going to take a few minutes. Uh, I think it takes about 20 minutes according to the guide. So just be patient. Okay, well, it took a few minutes, um, but it's now completed. So now we what we can do is head over to Sentinel, to the Sentinel instance we just deployed, which is this last one here. I will collapse here on the left-hand side. And now there should be some data in here, some incidents and some uh, log, some logs. There we go. So now we can see that there was three new incidents created and uh, so on and so forth. Before we dive into these, uh, this information, um, I just want to highlight the incidents that were created. I can see three incidents in here. They are, were all closed, as you could see, so I had to ensure that I am displaying closed, um, closed incidents. But there you go. We have three incidents loaded up in here. I could easily just click on them. Uh, have a look at the incident information here on the right hand side, click on full details, start investigating. That would be my security analyst experience with Sentinel. 
I could and I will get into these details later but I want to continue following the guide and setting it all up so I will take a refrain from continuing talking about these uh, the investigation experience and I will go back to finalizing the setup the next step to finalize the setup is to continue and to ensure that we have a playbook set up from that uh, training lab so what we need to do is have a look at uh, resource groups we need to go back to the resource group we created for this sentinel instance so this is the resource group that i, I leveraged and in here i have to find uh, an item an api connection from called get geo from ip and tag incident there you go i clicked on it now what I need to do is edit API connection. And then what I need to do is authorize my user to leverage this API. So I'm gonna click on authorize, a new, a new tab pops up and I need to go through the authentication process. Then I clicked on it, just saved it and that's it. So with that module one of the training lab guide is completed. Okay, so hopefully you found this session informative. In the next video, I'm gonna continue from module two. If you like the video and the format, drop, drop a like and also subscribe to the channel. Thank you.